Welcome to this week's Desmond's Donders Photo Diary. Why not join us on our Donders? Still unable to go further afield due to Covid lockdown, we're having a day trip to the Spey Viaduct. Just five miles from our door to here. Diary, 6th of June 2020. We are off on another day trip. Lindsay was not overly happy with this location, but I had scouted out a couple of times and Craig took me down yesterday to check it out again. It's a narrow entrance, but there is room for Desmond and more. I was almost straight out to fly the drone, and then we were visited by the Coast Guard. No worries though, they were out on a familiar, familiarisation run. Perhaps I should have familiarised myself with that word. They were out on a familiarisation run for new members. We had a wander around to check out the area and then homemade soup for lunch. The weather is good, so I flew the drone once again. But it soon started to get busy with walkers. So we had a cuppa and headed out for a short walk ourselves. We went across the bridge. There were folk fishing and canoeing also. We returned and chilled during the rest of the afternoon. As we watched the weather begin to worsen. We had a great haul of birds and some butterflies and bees. The weather deteriorated further and the rain came down heavily. We decided it was time to head for home before our planned time, but we'd still had a lovely day. And further, Lindsay decided it's not such a bad place and we can come back again in Desmond. They needed a bridge to span the Spey. With no rock banks north of the Fockerbus Road Bridge, how were they to contain the mighty Spey within the bridge's span, or indeed ensure the security of middle supports to cope with frequent spring spates and constant changes of the river's channel? As Dick Lauder quotes in his book on the Mockle Spate, the Spey's a wanton woman who may stay in her own bed, and how true that has proved to be over the years.
The bridge crosses the River Spey close to its mouth between the former Garmouth and Spey stations. Sometimes also known as the Garmouth Viaduct. The viaduct has three sections. A central 350 foot bowstring approached on either side by three 100 foot plain truss girder bridges. Overall length is 948 feet. The viaduct has this great length due to its proximity to the mouth of the river. The course of the main channel and width of the river vary in spate conditions. It took three years to build the bridge. The engineer was Patrick Barnett, who was the chief engineer of the Great North of Scotland Railway. He was helped by consulting engineers Blythe and Cunningham. The nickname of the Spey Viaduct is Barnett's Monument. construction of the viaduct and those at Colin delayed complete opening of this line until 1886. The course of the river has altered to the east after the construction and has also moved west again showing the sense of building such a long viaduct. To its north is the appropriately named Railway Arch Pool of which we saw fishermen attempting to catch the elusive salmon while we were there. Thank you. 
Wildlife, Red Admiral, Large White, Bumblebee, Wasp. Birds, Chaffinch, Blackbird, Black-Headed Gull. Yellow Hammer, House Sparrow, Wren, Collared Dog, Wood Pigeon, Jackdaw, Carrion Crow, Mute Swan, Swallow, House Martin, Robin, Rook, Goldfinch, Swift, Pied Wagtail, Mallard, Oyster Catcher, Sand Martin, Song Thrush, Pheasant, Osprey. Thank you for watching Desmond Stonders. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle, and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.